Getting pregnant is not easy for everyone. Only about one in four or five couples trying to conceive can get pregnant in any given ovulation cycle, a number that declines as women get into their mid-30s and 40s. Studies show that women who experience infertility suffer from higher rates of anxiety and depression. It also leads to stress. It is always very devastating. But sometimes they may be in front of you crying for one hour because you don't even know how to start counseling them. They are emotionally devastated, completely devastated. So it is very traumatic. The main symptom of infertility is not getting pregnant. There are quite a myriad of causes, you know, um, both in the man and the woman. Um, so with the woman, we talk about um, ovulatory problems, problems where the woman is not releasing eggs. You know, and there are several conditions that can cause that. Uh, we talk about pelvic factors, where there are problems having to do with the reproductive organs themselves. That's the ovary, the uterus, um, the cervix, possibly even the vagina too. And fourthly, we talk of the male factor, where there are things that affect the man's ability to have either an um, erection, ejaculation, or challenges with um, sperm production. It takes two. And that's what we also preach, that there's no blame game. You know, it's husband and wife, you married her or him, and of course you both decided that you're going to stay, you know, for better, for worse. And if a challenge like infertility come up, it then means that you have to stick together to find solution. Treatment for infertility depends mostly on the cause and couple's goals, age, and how long they have been trying to conceive. The way we live can actually affect our fertility potential particularly in women who are big, who are obese. Sometimes lifestyle changes for them, you know, weight reduction, you know, exercise, and going away with some funny diets that will add weight. A lot of them will achieve spontaneous ovulation and they will get pregnant, even without medication. We start by basic treatment, which can be done in natural cycles. So that means just try to maybe boost the number of eggs or Sometimes just even just to educate them on when to have sexual intercourse and that could work. So sometimes you could do what we call IUI, where you take the sperm and then you now prepare the sperm, you know, and then you now introduce the sperm directly into the womb so that it goes to fertilize the egg and create them, um, help the mind get pregnant. Then we talk of IVF, you know, which is where you remove the egg and the sperm and, you know, you allow pregnancy to happen, you know, outside of the body and then you now return it back. After it has joined and the pregnancy has started growing, you now return it back into the womb. So surrogacy, well, that's where somebody else helps to carry the pregnancy. Um, that is also yeah, becoming a bit more popular, and that's usually indicated where it's obvious that there are challenges and in a woman's womb that will not allow her to carry the pregnancy. Infertility presents psychological burden for couples, affecting them in many spheres of life. Don't stigmatize them, you know. Speak, let them, let them be free to even, you know, pour out their mind to you. I mean, when they have, they want someone to lean on and to be able to cry. Don't give up. There is hope. There are so many, you know, options available, even medically. The Nigerian society is also not supportive of couples facing fertility problems. This is why support groups are created for couples who have experienced similar challenges. These groups would allow individuals to come together to freely discuss and share their experiences, thus helping to alleviate the psychological distress associated with infertility. Bukola Taylor Cole, LTV News.